When you think of graffiti, what comes to mind? Do you think of vandalism, crime, defacing property, young teenagers with nothing better to do? Well, I have an exclusive interview with one of the up-and-coming graffiti artists in the streets today. He'll provide us with an all-in, all-access view on what it truly means to be a graffiti artist. With this new story, maybe it'll shift your perspective on graffiti and the cause for it, the desire for it, and the passion Hello, for guys. it. It's your boy Blur, graffiti writer from the Bronx. Uh, first off, shout out to my boy Misayo for this interview. Appreciate it, bro. Much love. Uh, next shout outs go to my boy Poe, put me in the graph game, put me on his wing. Uh, my brother Skuko, Fiends. My name Blur came about about three years ago when I was sitting with my boy Poe, put me in the graph game, as I mentioned. Um, I was coming up with names. I've had multiple that were already taken, and I didn't have good hand styles with them. And my boy came up with a simple one named Blur, and I just stuck with it ever since then. All right, so when I hear graffiti, you know, I think of street art, obviously, illegal vandalism. But then the idea of legal street art comes into mind because, you know, this is 2015, not the 70s or 80s, where, you know, uh, the system wasn't as strict um, back then versus today. I could tell you firsthand, I've gotten arrested a couple times. Nothing that I'm proud of, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, graffiti to me is just strictly art, man. It's a way to express yourself, you know, express your emotions, whether it's popping a tag or, you know, popping a fill, popping a little character, you know, having beef. It is what it is. It's honestly a different lifestyle, man. This is Misao Rodriguez reporting from WCC News.